Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my three favorite licks. Today we're going to be looking at Django Reinhardt's uh, version of T for two. We'll look again at three of the main ideas or the, the ideas that I think are maybe most interesting or that caught my attention at least when I, when I worked on this solo. And we're going to start actually from the very top where Django starts his introduction in a, in a duo with uh, Stefan Berpelli and and plays this kind of bass and chord uh, sort of line. <laughs> Obviously, some degree of, of of grasp of certain concepts that are that are really really cool. For example, in this case, he is essentially using uh, a, a major uh, a melodic major uh, because in this harmonization, where which is all part of A, the tune is is in A major, and you have you know the third degree uh, inversion major seven. <laughs> second degree which is a minor, in this case minor 6, and you have a 1 which is A of course, and back to the 2 minor, and then the 3 again is the inversion, which could be called F sharp minor 9 of course, with a bass um, of D flat, but essentially we're looking at a, at a, at a, um, a major 7 inversion. And then if, when he goes up to the uh, D, with the D root, he plays that as a minor 6, instead of what would typically be, in a major scale harmonization, would be uh, with, the, with, you know, with the major 6, in other words, you know, in other words, the F sharp should be part of that, instead of... Instead... Which is the flat six off, so and that's your your uh, harmonic major. If you play the harmonic major scale, you have one, two, three, four, five, and then six is flat instead of being six. That will be your major six with F sharp, and here instead he highlights the uh, F, which is the minor six. So. So that's something that obviously Django had in his ear and in his capabilities, and it's uh, it's really interesting how that comes out. So it's it's nice to know the scale. It's not very much used, uh, especially in, in the gypsy jazz you know world. But why not? <laughs> Six, as opposed to D major six, which or D major seven, which would be the actual correct, the correct harmonization for A major. But if you're using it, if you're thinking of a harmonic major, uh, then that six has to be has to be flattened, and that why, that's why you have this option as well. Beautiful sound right there. So there is uh, the first idea and what to take from it, essentially learn the harmonic major scale and its harmonization. It's a really cool option to, to have over major, major keys. Okay, off to the second idea, which is going to go to the part of the tune where the, where the tune modulates to D flat major. And Django plays at some point this little phrase right here, which is very typical. Which is essentially playing over the, the relative uh, minor op. So the, the, the key goes, the key, the tune goes to D flat major, which is which its relative is B flat minor. So you can always steal from all the licks or ideas that you might have in, in, a, in, a, mi in a minor key, in a minor chord, in this case B flat minor. This is a classic Django run, you know, you've heard this many times. Or, you know. But in 
this case, and with the picking it works really well because it's, right, so you're really working off of that, from that. And then, what is happening here is really interesting. And here Tabby uses a, a couple of ideas that are really, really cool. Again, once you have B flat minor, you always have related to that the dominant that is sitting that is sitting on its fourth. So if it's B flat minor, then you have E flat nine in this case, where you basically have the same same notes really. You always hear that everywhere. And so once the once the phrase is coming from the B flat minor. At this point, Django runs into this E flat and then transforms that immediately into its, its, if in, into its diminished. So basically, you would think of it as E flat 9 or 7, with a flat 9 it becomes E diminished, and so. That's why the development of this diminished run off of this. And then to finish it off, it finishes off on the second degree of, so basically that that E flat, that E flat 9, you know, becomes minor as a 2 of the key. In other words, 2 of 5 of 1. Because of course we're in D flat, so the 2 of it. The two, the natural two of it would be E flat minor. So you see how Django really mixes uh, mixes the colors here, uh, mixing you know the, the the dominant, which becomes diminished, and then finishing it off on the so implying that as a minor. You know so. It's, it's really cool to see how Django kind of runs through his own preferred licks or patterns, but really using, using uh, the harmony that's underlying as well, you know. So again, you have D flat, the key, which can be thought of as B flat minor, so that's why. And then that becomes basically the dominant the, the, the fourth down on the fourth, which is E flat, E flat nine or seven, which then becomes minor seven or minor, E flat minor as a two of the B flat key. Okay, so. for your second idea. Third and last idea from T for Two, Django, and here is the very very last phrase of the solo, and so we're back into the A major key, and we finish off with this little run right here. to see the use of this open strings here, essentially Django is thinking of this chord because this is the 2 of a 7 of the key of A. So 2 would be B half diminished, which is an alternative to the 2 minor 7. That 2 minor 7 could be, can be 2 minor 7 flat 5, typically in minor keys, but you can also use it in major keys, like in this case. And so you have this shape, Moving on to the E, E7, or dominant of A. And so, right off of the chord, you have this possible arpeggio right off of the... So you have the open A and the open D. Then here you have the A, and then again open B. So. Basically, 
halfway between the chord and, and really open strings in an arpeggio developed over this chord. Here to the A, and then and then off of two. Basically, this uh, this D flat, which is part of the dominant E E E dominant or E seventh, which leads leads into the A major, which. pattern here because you can just really outright steal that and play it over A major uh, uh, songs or tunes or progressions, right? And notice how with the picking it's convenient to really this little stretch from the 6th fret to the Second. So all together. So, you know what to do. It's going to take about 0 0.2 seconds of your day. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, so that every time I come up with a, with a new little transcription or, 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 or something similar, and I'll have the, my three favorite ideas. Uh, hopefully those can be of some help or some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Never hesitate to ask any questions. Um, and again, please subscribe. Please like it. If you like it even more, share it. It helps uh, me and my channel. And, um, and we'll see you soon on a new uh, My Favorite Three Licks. Peace.